and here I'm with my new video in Salesforce integration development and topic for today video is that how to read data from Excel and upload that data into Salesforce objects using REST API integration. In one of my previous video where I have integrated Salesforce with Java using REST API, there I have demonstrated how can we perform DML operations like insertion, updation, deletion. So uh, I got a request from a couple of my clients that they would like to read the Excel file and upload that data into Salesforce object. And also at the same time, they would like to they would like to query the record from Salesforce and insert uh, that, those records into an Excel file. So recently we did one project for our client. So therefore we decided to share case study with you guys also and in so therefore we decided to record this video for you so and I hope you like this video as you have liked my previous videos also so don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and if you have some queries you can drop a query to us directly on our website you can visit our website bsptrainings.bspsolutions.com and so on so let's begin and uh, so I'm not going to take much time on that. So first of all, let me show you my interface, what exactly the requirement is. That's my Salesforce interface and this is my account object. And my requirement is, I got an Excel file where I have stored a couple of records. So I created some dummy record with three fields, account name, phone, and type. So you can see, I created a couple of records like test record. Let's say, let me customize this. Test record one, test record, Two test record three test record four and test record five and couple of phone, phone numbers are there and uh, the record type that is the account type actually this field we uh, we have this account type field exists in our account object so I'll just save this file now my requirement is to read this file in using Java and uh, perform uh, an insertion operation to insert all these records into Salesforce using REST API. So let's have a look, how can we do that? Now in order to do that, we would be requiring a couple of libraries. And uh, for that, uh, you can visit this link. There's a package called Apache POI. So this Apache POI, it is used, uh, it's a very, uh, basically it is, it is mainly used to perform uh, to read and write data from Excel into uh, using Java. So I have downloaded the latest release of Apache POI. So I have already downloaded that. So let me show you that my Apache POI, that's the Apache POI I have downloaded. That's a recent version. And uh, at the same time, I unzipped this file and I got a couple of ZARP files. So these are the ZARP files. At the same time, along with this, I would be requiring a couple of other packages. So as you can see, I would be requiring packages called star X API, which you can download directly from here, star X API. You can just search this star X API and download this star X API. And star X API. So I'll just write star X API. If you're not able to find it out here, you can go to Google and uh, you can download it. In Google, you can search it. Star X API one text actually. It's not Star X. It's text. That's my mistake. Text API and streaming API. For this is a text API you need to download. So you you can find out all the libraries which are required from MVN repository. So this is text API I would be requiring. So it's a XML processing API that allows you to stream XML data from and to your application. Uh, I would be requiring XML beans 3.1.0. So I just write XML beans and uh, XML beans. So XML beans main are and we'll download this XML beans. Uh, I would be requiring requiring common collection 4.1.1. So let me copy this and uh, I'm just looking for this common collection common IO. So it is to stream implementation file filters file comparators and so we're requiring or we required all these files. And at the same time, uh, within 
from POI, I need one more package called common compress 1.1.8, which you can get it from here, or you can get the common collections here also. That is 4.4.3. That's the latest version. So if you don't want to download it from MVN repository, you can download it from here. So we got the packages now. Now let's switch back to the uh, Java and let me show you. So this is the same program which I was, uh, which I created earlier also. And I just made this program more dynamic. So let me show you that. But before that, just a quick recap that how to add references uh, of those ZAR files into this program. So click on properties, right click on your project, click on properties, and we add external ZARs and we add ZAR files one by one. And you can see, uh, apart from the HTTP uh, uh, core, HTTP client, common logging, common codec, I have added XML beans, tax API, POI XML file, and common compress 1.18 ZAR and common collection 4.4.1 ZAR. So these files I have added. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these seven files you need to add. And the rest of the files are the same which we have, uh, which we added in the previous example, in the previous program. So I added these star files, and also at the same time I add reference to them here also. <coughs> and when we add these star files, these packages here, we would be getting the workbook, cell XSSF row workbook and sheet so because we would be requiring we need to read or write data to and from into excel so we need to use workbook and sheet now let's have a look how are we going to read the data from excel into java and how to insert those records into salesforce so for that first of all uh, i'm not going to query record i'm going to create new record and uh, i created a couple of functions create query delete now in create in record creation as you can see first of all i open a file account.xls that's the same file from where i would like to read the record account.xlsx and uh, uh, then i created a file input stream object so this file input stream instance or this instance i created here file input stream and file output stream this file is file input stream for to open a file in read mode file output stream to open a file in write so that we can write into that file. Then I uh, I create an instance and I, I link that instance with the Excel file which we wanted to uh, from where we from where we wanted to read data. Then I created a new instance for workbook. That's a new instance for workbook and instance of sheet from where we would like to read the data. Now as you can see here, every workbook they, we might have multiple sheets. So I would like to read data from sheet one and the index is zero. So therefore, I just mentioned here get sheet at zero. Workbook dot get sheet at zero. Then uh, I created an I created one iterator object iterator to link with the sheet rows because we are not sure how many records are there. So therefore, I just created a new instance for iterator and named it as rows. And the number of uh, so it would be going to link with the number of rows are there. So all the rows would be linked with the iterator, and then we just write a loop to read all the rows one by one. So I just write a loop. Now in this every row there are three columns. So column one, column three, column one, column two, column three. So my requirement is I would like to read the value from cell one, cell two, cell three, then second row cell one, cell two, cell three, and so on. And at the same time insert these records into Salesforce. And therefore I created new three cells, cell one, cell two, cell three, because right now I have got only three cells. So if we have a bigger file, we need to make it more dynamic and then we can use loopings for there. And so here it would be reading data from cell one, cell two, and that's stored into cell one, cell two, cell three. And now I'm going to link it. So in cell one would be considered as account one. So that's stored into account one instance, account two variable, account phone, and account type variable. And then from here onwards, the rest of the things are same. And what I have done is, uh, that's the same code we did in previous example. Only thing is I, I, I just copy paste, I just put the same code within a for loop so that it will create a new instance every time uh, of JSON object and a new for new instance or new requests will be sent every time. 
so if we have 10 if we have 10 records or if we have five records so right now in this file there are five records so it will it will send five requests it will run five queries to the it will say it will create five requests to salesforce to insert records and the salesforce will insert record and respond back with the account id so let's go and check this whether it is working or not so i just right click and run as java application so let's have a look the process and you can see the process is started insert new account and it will start see so we are it's only responding me new account id so i'm getting the new response i'm getting the account id and i got a message uh, all record inserted successfully so let's go and check whether records get inserted successfully or not so i switch to my salesforce accounts click on go and i just apply a view filter new this week and we got records here test record test rec 1 test rec 2 test rec 3 test rec 4 and test rec 5 and also it's added the header also so what we need to do is we need to write a logic so that we can skip the first row so we need to write a we need to write a logic also that they, so that it will start reading from the second row not from the first row because first row contains heading so for that uh, we can simply write an if else condition. Now here we have successfully inserted records along with the uh, account name, phone and type. You can see the record, so record exists and we can also validate. So test rec one, the ID is 0012PZ and you see it's, it's responding us the, so let me open that and 001HPZ this one, AAR. AAR is added because of the uh, AAR, AAB, these, uh, the last three characters are added just to mention that it is extracted from external APIs. So that's the way we can insert the, we have successfully extracted the records from Excel file into Java and uploaded the data or inserted those records. Now at the same time, uh, what I need to do is I need to read all I need to query all the records from account object Let's say let's have a look how many records are there. So there are around 19 records so I would like to query all the 19 records from account object and Create a new excel file and put it into that So let's suppose I would like to take a backup of my record weekly or quarterly or monthly So for that I would be reading that I needed that so let me show you how I did that so the libraries will remain same. There are no change in libraries. Only we need to add one. Only we need to add one account. Uh, sorry, only we need to add one output stream. So output stream and uh, the rest of the things are same. So let's go and check for that how we did that. Now this time I'm going to comment the create record and query record function this query record means we would be writing a query statement we will be sending a query statement to salesforce to read all the records and create a new excel file and insert records into it now let's switch to query records so that's the query record function and uh, yeah so that's the query so i just write a query to extract all the records from id name phone from account uh, this is not required actually, so we can skip this object instance. It is not required. This object instance is not required, so I'm just removing this. Now I try to create one. I try to call this. So first of all, I open this output stream using uh, with the help of you. So basically, I'm trying to open a new file named as account dot account one dot xlsx, and uh, uh, file file output stream has got a function that if the file exists. It will open that file for reading if that file does not exist it will create a new file and open that file in write mode and that's what exactly i'm doing here then i create a new workbook for insertion i create a new sheet and i give a name as account rec so i, I give it i give it name as account rec that's the account rec right now you see i don't have any account one file right now then I know how many records are there so therefore i i initialize row count is equal to zero and uh, i'm going to create first row as a header so i just i'm extracting only account id and account name and phone so i just extracted account id and account phone my requirement is only to store uh, my requirement is only to save id and name so i store account id and account name so that's a header this will this portion basically this section will create or first 
row as a header then again i initialize row count 0 and uh, this functionality is similar to that where we uh, send a request send a get request to salesforce to uh, read the query to execute the query and salesforce will respond back will salesforce will respond back and when salesforce will respond back the response we are getting here that's the response http get and uh, if the code is 200 we just execute this we just execute this and here i just validate this that if the record exists let's suppose after executing this query if we got a if there are record exists then only i would be inserting the records i would be displaying the records and at the same time i want to insert records also so i just create uh, i just set new row new row is equal to one because i want to uh, i want to start inserting data from row one not from row zero and column count is zero because again i'm not sure how many columns will be there so and i put it into a loop i just uh, with every row i create a new uh, index new row and uh, account id would be extracted account name will be extracted uh, and this is just for printing account id and account name and then i create two new cells because i know i uh, i would like i'm going to create only two records uh, i'm going to capture only two fields account id and account name and i just put it into account id and account name and just put an in, uh, increment row increment okay and finally i write it uh, i write the workbook as an output screen now let's execute this that's all for writing also and let's execute this and just test it and when i execute this when i run this java code uh, it will start reading the records one by one it will send a request it will query record and it will show all records to me so you can see all 11 or sorry all 19 records are there it starts from index number 0 to index number 19 so all 19 records have been extracted and now let's go and check whether the file is created or not now you can see one account one dot file has been created uh, the extension is dot xls and when i open this file account one and you can see i can see all the records so these are the account IDs and these are the account names. So now we have successfully extracted the records from Salesforce into Excel using Java with the help of REST. So that's the way we can perform operation. In same manner, we can uh, perform deletion and updation, but that's uh, we can perform updations also, and we can perform record updations, uh, record appending also. But this is what the requirement was from our client. So therefore, we uh, share the same with you also. So that's all in this video. Uh, you can find out the code in the link uh, attached with this YouTube channel, YouTube link. You, in, the, in the description, you can find out the link. That's all from my side. If you have some queries, you can come up with your questions. You can post your comments once again. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also you can also connect with us for the customized training on Salesforce. We are specialized into Salesforce integration and Salesforce development training, and also we are providing consulting services as well as job support. So that's all in this video. Have a nice day.